The management team of the Milti Magai Technical University has paid a formal visit to the Minister of Technical and Higher Education, Dr. Ramatulai Wugi, at the ministry headquarters, New Englandville in Freetown. During the visit, the Chancellor and Principal, Professor Dr. Philip John Kano, presented gains, successes, and challenges made by his administration. The purpose of the visit was to update the minister on the progress made by the Milti Magai Technical University under the leadership of of Professor Dr. Philip John Kano, the Chancellor highlighted the achievement and advancement made in various academic and administrative areas, while also discussing challenges faced by the institution. Professor Dr. Philip John Kano expressed his gratitude to the Minister for granting them an audience and for her ministry's continuous support towards the university. He emphasized the importance of collaboration between the university and the ministry in order to address the pressing issues faced by the institution. Mitsimaga is going to be 60 years in November 30 this year. So, your ministry is going to set the record that said before Mitsimaga attained 60 years, 60 years by the time you turn to a technical university, while the other university like uh, Manubelo, University that started the same year. Today they are producing PhD students while we are still battling to even build the university. I know all of those universities in South Africa, in Ghana, they long since transformed to university of education, training people in that area. Who we'll, we'll publish the promotional, the promotional results, they are out, the comprehensive results are out. And I mean, it's not one to uh, Say that in Mitimaga we always work according to the calendar of the ministry. We are able to finish our exams even before the elections. And we are able to publish our results. We are now working on the reference exams so that uh, we finish all ex reference exams for the students, for them to know that yes, indeed they are at a particular level. Because when we came in, I was given these terms of reference. <coughs> And these are the terms of reference that I want to present to you, madam. I know you must have those copy, the copy of those terms of reference. You will notice that uh, they were very tough actions drafted by the permanent secretary and the then minister at that time. And they gave us those terms of reference that uh, we must make sure that we we'll publish results within two weeks. And I think the lecturers, they know that uh, I am always behind their backs. But uh, they have to publish results and they have to give speech. I did not say so. The ministry gave us that mandate. They also gave me the mandate that uh, when stu lecturers interfere with female students, I must prosecute them. It is in that uh, uh, on terms of reference. And I can't prosecute them without taking them to the police. So that is why when they commit the time, it is there, plus 16. It is there, plus 14 and 16, it is there. They also said uh, tampering of examination. We must sack those lecturers. It is there. So all what we are doing, madam, it is against the backdrop that uh, I was given terms of reference. And, and I follow the terms of reference religiously. When they said it's two weeks, the lecturers are here. Now we said we are going to do marking, I mean conference marking. Because when you do conference marking, you will not take my papers out. And when you do conference marking, the students also have right to ask for their own papers. When we do conference marking, we will we'll subject the lecturers not to do anything. They, they come with their marking scheme. We have all of those regulations. We put them in place. And the minister, we have projects that are running. We have the enhanced integrated framework that has succeeded rehabilitating the Google Cross, partially the Google Cross campus. Very soon they will hand over those, those buildings, and I'm sure the Ministry of uh, Tourism will, will send you a letter to hand over those facilities. But that project happened under this leadership of the Ministry. I want to say thank you so very much. Because one thing that I believe, administration is continuity. We also have a skills development project. We are to train 400 hotel and tourism people. These people, we are supposed to retain those that we've already produced. And the project is at the final stage. We also have a project which we 
we refer to as the the, the Sierra Leone diversification, economic diversification. In response, Dr. Ramatulai Wugi commended the management team for their visit and expressed her appreciation for their efforts in improving the quality of technical and higher education in the country. She assured the delegation of her ministry's support and commitment to addressing the challenges faced by the university. The minister acknowledged the significant role played by the Built Maga Technical University in producing skilled graduates who contribute to the development of the nation. She emphasized the need for continuous improvement and innovation in the technical and higher education sector to meet the demands of the rapidly evolving job market. Dr. Ramatulai also assured the delegation that her ministry will work towards addressing the issues raised by the Chancellor. She emphasized the importance of collaboration and encouraging the university to actively engage with the ministry in finding solutions to the challenges faced by the institution. I to touch on the research projects that you mentioned as well. What, what struck me was that all of them were quite relevant to the national development agenda and uh, they're also needs-based. So I'd like to encourage you to continue to engage with the relevant stakeholders to ensure that the, the evidence that you, 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 you capture from these research studies will be translated in real time into policy and practice is why else would anybody in the media research if it cannot be translated into policy and practice? Um, the, the, and then we come to the, the, the other 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 um, successes, but then I, I want to focus more on the challenges. As I say that a problem shared is a problem solved. And um, we laid out a number of the challenges in a very holistic way that you have experienced so far. Some of them are quite generic, but what I mean by that, they cut across <coughs> most of the, the, the universities that we have in Syria, which you have legislation, um, tuition fees not being paid all the time, but I'm very happy that the, the student leader is in the room, because this is all hands on deck, we all have a role to play in this. As much as we know what we have to do as an industry and as universities to push forward um, the, the agenda when it comes to transforming the education sector. Uh, we know that there are issues of quality that we need to build upon, but we also need the students to know that education is not cheap and they also have a role to play in this. Last few weeks we met with the project coordinator and he's brought to light a number of these issues. And um, last week the Ministry also, the Ministry of Finance, met with the contractors and they brought again some issues to light. And as Mr. Cooper had said, we've been meeting with consultants this afternoon. So it's very timely that you as a beneficiary have brought these challenges and a lot of them come across. So once we've had that dialogue with the consultants this afternoon, then we'll be in a much better position to bring all the relevant stakeholders into the room and we see how we can address these challenges in a very timely manner. Because we know that time is not entirely on our side. We have commitments that we have to meet, the time bound, and the earlier we can solve these issues, the better. The visit concluded with a commitment from both parties to strengthen their collaboration and work together to further enhance the quality of technical and higher education in the country. The management team of the Miltimaga Technical University expressed their gratitude to the minister for her support and vowed to continue their efforts in providing quality education to students. For Star TV News in Freetown, George Elliott Sam reporting.